Hello everybody, my name is Bander, and today I'm doing something a little different and a little, little bit of the same. Uh, my very first video on this channel is a game called Kingdom Hearts 1. I recorded a full playthrough the entire game on the PS2 and posted up, but that was about three years ago, I think? And since then, I've been wanting to do Kingdom Hearts 2, but never really got around to doing it. I ended up doing some other things and then kind of got onto Minecraft a little bit more, as well as took a long, like, one year break from making videos. And recently, this game came out. This is Kingdom Hearts 2.5, which contains Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Edition, Kingdom Hearts Birth... Oops, hang on, no, no, don't do that. Please, go back. Wait. Okay, good. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Edition, uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix Edition, and the cutscenes for Kingdom Hearts Recoded, uh, which was a game released originally on the DS, and then originally on the phone in Japan, and then released on the DS, uh, or uh, internationally. Uh, and this is 2.5 uh, HD, Kingdom Hearts 2.5, which contains all three of those games, the two games, and then the cutscenes in the third game. And so I decided, you know what? Let's do Kingdom Hearts 2. Let's uh, finally do it, but uh, it's a game that I know pretty much front and back. I know it as well as Kingdom Hearts 1. I've played just as many times as the original. But since it's the Final Mix Edition, there's a lot of stuff that is brand new to me. There are some boss fights, some cutscenes, and all kinds of stuff that I'm unfamiliar with because I never really uh, went in and looked into Kingdom Hearts. Uh, it's only released in Japan. You could have accessed it via emulator or other importing means, but I never really went that far and got into it. So this is a pretty exciting uh, game for me to play because it's something I wanted to play for a very long time. And to be able to play it now is it's cool on the PS3, HD, whatnot, and being able to actually record it because I just got the Elgato and I got myself a little HDMI splitter so I can actually record PS3. And yeah, without further ado, I think we'll go on. I think I'm actually going to do this on proud mode, and Kingdom Hearts 1 LP, I did this on standard mode. To make sure I was, you know, comfortable with the commentary and whatnot. But, uh, I want to do proud mode because there's lots of interesting stuff there. And, uh, if I'm going to beat, if I'm going to be doing those optional boss fights, I want to do them on a much more difficult. Critical mode would just be insane. I'm not doing that. But proud mode sounds like the right choice. Vibration function on, and let's go. Uh, I'll be quiet for the opening cutscenes and just let those play out. I just realized I don't have any water and my throat is already dry. This is gonna be a long night. One thing to note is that uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, this company was that made this game is called Squaresoft. And now it's officially Square Enix. Fun fact. I'll be quiet now. You have arrived. I've been to see him. He looks a lot like you. I'm what's left. Or, maybe I'm all there ever was. My name is of no importance. What about you? Do you remember your true name? Sora? <laughs> Give me a break, I... Giving up already? If there are any other worlds out there, why did we end up on this one? This world has been connected. Well, who's there? Tied to the darkness. Sora, don't ever change. 
The door has opened. What? Previously you on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Nothing. dream about him. Welcome to Twilight Town. First day. Man, does that take you off? Yeah, that's just wrong. The cipher has gone too far this time. I agree with whatever happened. I mean, it's true that stuff's been stolen around town, and we've got a score to settle with Cipher and everything. So, if he wants to think we did it, I can't really blame him. See, that's not what really bugs me. What really bugs me is that he's going around telling everybody we're the thieves. Now the whole town and their mothers are treating us like the Klepto Club. Have you ever been this ticked off before in your life? Because I haven't. Nuh uh. Never. You can really tell the difference between the mouth flapping and the actual no. detailed animation, like right there. Just mouth flapping. Detailed animation. Detailed animation. Ah, uh, well. We could find the real thieves. That would set the record straight. Hey, that sounds fun. Mouth what about Cypher? First, we gotta clear our names. Once we find the real culprit, everyone will get off our backs. Uh, oh no! They're gone! Our are gone! What? All are gone? You can't say, why not? But you do understand what I'm saying, right? Our are gone. Stolen. God, the, the detailed animations switching me. to the, like this, the, the the they idle animations are too. really jarring. What kind of thief is that? Cypher could never have pulled that off. Yeah. All right. Time for some recon. Huh? His heart is returning. Doubtless he'll awaken very soon. Roxas, come on. Okay. 
Move the left stick to make Roxas run. Tilt it slightly to make Roxas walk. Jump a circle. Approach the armor shop. Blah, blah, blah. So right away you'll notice that we are not our usual spiky brown haired protagonist, but a new, taller, slimmer, spiky haired blonde protagonist named Roxas. And uh, there's a bit of similarities between our uh, previous character and this character, but uh, that'll be mentioned a little more later. Uh, so right away you'll notice you're in a town known as Twilight Town. You're in a little market square with lots of shops and whatnot, and a very unpopulated town at that. Seems to be only a handful of residents. This place seems to be closed. Um, these are our three friends. This is Hey, and there's the blonde one. Pence is the uh, chubbier one, and then Olette is the female. Because every group has to have a, the typical, the uh, token female character. And you'll also notice these are not Final Fantasy characters. These are original Kingdom Hearts characters. One thing I won't be doing is pretending to voice act from the last time I did. <laughs> Hooray! I've learned. <laughs> For accusing us of stealing, you don't look very mad at us. Reaction commands are used to execute actions according in situations. So one of the new uh, features of K is that there are uh, uses for the triangle. Who's this? Oh. Use, using the triangle is pretty much your go-to button for doing everything. It opens chests, it does uh, certain quick time events, and it talks to people. So triangle is your friend. Is Roxas, is Roxas always frowning? I guess he was. Well, let's go talk to this nice shopkeeper. Yes? <clears throat> you, Roxas, please don't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> and I just got through telling them that I wasn't going to voice act. The... She's like grieving the shit out of this guy. What? Would you ever go to like a Jamba Juice stand and be creeped out if a person was like, you never come back to our store anymore. What's up with that? <laughs> we used to be one of my favorite customers. I'm not. <laughs> what? One thing I've been noticing in this game is there's a lot of idle animations for these characters, and when they're in these idle animations, their mouths just flap whenever they talk, like watch. Just ridiculously flapping mouth. And then when you get a close-up on them, you actually see them actually talk. Clear your name. Well, wait, you can't do you know what do you know what they're accusing us of stealing? All those ruples, right? No no, all of our we, someone stole all of the Candy. We can't even say the name of it. All the are gone. Dicks. No. Dick holders. No. Of course you can't say the name either, because it's stole they stole them, right? What? All of our Get out of here. are gone. <laughs> Trevor! I can't even say the word. They stole the word too. No. Okay. No. Okay. Back to your chamber. Roxas. My <laughs> have you seen my cat? So this is the classic introduction of uh, on mechanics that uh, you always see in the beginning of a Zelda game. Key Roxas, did they steal something from you too? Something important? Just so you know, we didn't do it. Oh, thank you. My, <laughs> my precious. But the word, too. The Sandlot? We're gonna go play baseball? This is uh, gonna be our basic introduction to the game. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit of a time sink, about two to three hours of game time before we actually get to uh, the before the game actually starts opening up. And there's going to be a lot of uh, cutscenes and talkiness, so not a lot of actual time to do gameplay and explain things. But we'll go along with it.
Phase 3 should be a bit more familiar to uh, Final Fantasy Phase. fans. That was low, you know? Oh, yeah? Nice comeback there, Blondie. What'd you say? I'm pretty sure you're blonde, too. You can give us back the... now. Yeah, you're the only ones who would take it, you know? That was undeniable proof that we totally owned you, lamers. So what did you do? Burn it? <laughs> Not that we need some... to prove that you're losers. Replay. <laughs> now you're talking. I guess if you get on your knees and beg, maybe I'll let it slide. <laughs> Roxas! Oh, where did these come from? Huh. Appears we have three choices here. A magic looking one, a sword looking one, and one looks a little more defensive. On, on the right, it's not bad. You can use it to struggle with too. Easy to play with. If I were you, I'd go with the weapon in the middle. Cypher has to pay. So this is Vivi, he's from Final Fantasy IX, I believe. Uh, this, um, I actually forget her name. Pretty sure she's from Eight. So is Cypher and Rai, or Raj, or something like that. These guys are from Eight, and Vivi's from Nine. And so you can choose between these three different uh, struggle bats. This is a prioritized offense. This one is prioritize defense. This one is prioritize magic. I think I'm gonna go with defense, just because since we're playing on private mode, I wanna be uh, well protected and ensure the best uh, possible item slots and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure defense is the one where you want, the one you want mostly. Rocks is focus. So this will be the first actual introduction to the battle system. It's very similar to Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 1. You got your command list over onto the left and your HP and MP on the right. A little bit different looking, but that'll be there'll be more more to that later on. Blah, HP runs out, you lose, and so now you just got a tech safer. So safer moves around a little bit awkwardly in a weird pattern. Attack with the X button. One thing they got rid of is the tech system, so where if you uh, tech a person's attack, getting XP for that. Around and fight. But uh, they replaced it with some other things to get more XP. You also get information in the top left corner via the information bar. That'll give you objectives and stuff. Make sure you're really paying attention to that. At least I think they got rid of the tech, the tech XP system. Be careful when you do a combo because you might start attacking afterwards. Keep moving. Standard, standard combat play. Keep the camera angle focused on safer. Shouldn't really even take damage in this fight. His uh, command keys are pretty easy as well. Pretty simple fight. <laughs> oh, Cypress. that foam bat really hurt. So hot, you know? Tournament decides. Whoa. Hey, Beef, come back here. What was that? The thief? Get used to the uh, little theme here. It's going to be used a lot for uh, minor battles. Not as good as some of the more cinematic battles, but uh, pretty, uh, pretty catchy <laughs> in some ways. 
Welcome to the woods of Twilight Town. This place can be kind of confusing. It's also pretty dark, depending on your television screen. So uh, be aware of this and uh, try to keep track of where this uh, mysterious white figure is going. I wonder what this thing could possibly be. And then she leads lead you to this nice mansion looking place, which has no. It's a little bit. Gotta capture him. You're mine now. My liege. Oh! He's got a mouth in there. He's got one of them zipper hoodies that my friends always wear. Or friend. So this is a mysterious... I'll actually tell you the name of it. It's called a Dusk. It walks in a very creepy kind of pattern, and it has an actual... It actually has a reaction command to it where it will, as soon as it finishes doing this aerial attack, you can get around it. And you'll notice that you cannot do anything except uh, do a little reaction command stuff. Ow! Took my first damage. I was doing trying to go for a no damage run. You'll notice that similar to the first game, normal weapons do not do any damage to these uh, common enemies. You'll have to have some sort of different weapon. So just pretty much just around for a little while and uh, try not to die. Oh god, oh. It's no use. It's no use. What? What's with all the data? What? What is this thing? It's got a mind of its own. I'll call it Keyblade. Keyblade. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying the uh, visuals here. It's, it's very sharp. A lot, a lot of the little finer details I've never really been able to notice. That I never really played this game on a very big TV like this. So now with Keyblade in hand, we can actually do some damage to this guy, as well as make use of the actual commands. Just keep attacking to him, do some little reversals, continue up that combo. You can pretty much do an infinite on him if you uh, don't use a combo finisher. A lot of money and some random different types of orbs that increase your money, HP, magic, you know, the usual. And explodes into a middle million tiny pieces and a bunch of photos. Hey, I can say the word again. What's this? I was his first customer after he took over the shop. So we took a picture together. It's a really nice photo. Oh. Hey, you just said photo. So, Roxas, tell us about the picture thief. Not much to say. The pictures were just lying there. Then how do we prove we weren't the ones who took them? <laughs> it's a girl. You look happy, Roxas. Do not. So He's in the same position as he was in the previous photo. All the stolen pictures are of Roxas? Oh, so that's why everyone thought it was us. And Cypher didn't go around accusing us after all. Are they really all of me? Yep. See? Oh, he's leaning down. How nice. Right? Every single one. Wouldn't it be weird if the thief wanted to steal the real Roxas or something? Oh, that's why Safer was spouting all that nonsense about owning these lamers. <laughs> Mom must have stole a picture of Safer beating Rock. Struggle match. That's why he, he expected, suspected them. That is the sound of a train. Bye, guys. And that right there is the end of day one. But uh, that's going to be all the time we have for today's episode. 
a bit long just due to uh, cutscenes and stuff like that. But uh, nonetheless, join me again in part two. Where am I? Two. Electric Boogaloo. Who are you?